They grant wishes for eligible children anywhere from two and a half years old to 18 years old who have a life-threatening critical illness. Today, we talk to Make-A-Wish South Carolina. This is Charleston Women Podcast, where you can meet like-minded, strong, independent, professional, and inspiring local women. This is Charleston Women Podcast. And now I am thrilled to welcome to the Charleston Women Podcast. We have Shannon Rice and Hart Perry. Ladies, welcome to both of you. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having us. Yes. So we're going to talk to both of you today. We're going to talk about one of my favorite organizations near and dear to my heart and so many of us in the low country and nationwide. And of course, that's Make-A-Wish. So um, Shannon, I'll just start with you. Um, For anyone who lives under a rock and is not aware (laughs) of what you guys do and the magic that you make happen, um, just just fill us in. Sure. So uh, Make-A-Wish South Carolina is its own charitable entity. Um, We are very grassroots. We grant wishes to critically ill children with life-threatening illnesses. And the children have to be between two and a half and 18 years old. We grant wishes to children all across the state to a variety of different um, medical illnesses. It's one of the only organizations that really crosses several boundaries. So um, we really try to facilitate as many of them as we can. And any eligible child who is referred to us will get a wish. Um, The average cost of a wish here in South Carolina is Mm $7,500. We currently have over 400 children in South Carolina awaiting their wish. Um, Roughly 70 of those are in the low country region. Wow. So are they, I know we just had a big fundraiser not too long ago. Are we closer to getting a lot of those kids off that list? It helped. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know. It's a high cost. You know, well, and we don't receive any government funding. So everything mm-hmm. we do is based on corporations or private donations. Right. Um, and then, of course, our, our events that are held year round. So um, but Wish Night, yes, was a big success. Mm-hmm. Um, so far, we're up to granting uh, 95 wishes with the funds raised. So That's great. Uh, and of course, you were there and a big part of that. So we're very grateful Magical to you. Magical night. You know, it's, it's wonderful to see when the community supports you and your mission and obviously the kids and heart. That's why you're here. You know, Make-A-Wish impacted your family. Tell us a little bit more about your story. Well, our story, we come, um, excuse me, my son, Charlie, was a former Make-A-Wish child. Uh, we were living in Massachusetts and Charlie was nine years old. And we decided to do a celebration of friendship for his make a wish for his wish and mm-hmm. it was his choice to have for one day have make a wish throw the biggest party they've ever thrown so you know all his friends his classmates his family from around the country flew in his doctors came nurses his entire school um it was a day to leave the hospital and just have fun so we were so lucky that make a wish of massachusetts threw him a day of just kid fun you know like face painting and uh, arcades and candy rooms and fire trucks and police escorts and flying sta- stations. It, it was it was ridiculously fun. Yeah, um, Make a Wish does something; they do it right. And am I correct it, that it was it, called Charlie Palooza? <laughs> yes, yes, Charlie Palooza celebration of friendship because Charlie loved to play and be with his friends, mm-hmm. and so that's what we did. Surrounded with love, so it was it was so much fun. So Shannon, you are now, you've accepted the Wish Society nomination. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, just tell us why you said yes to that and what that means for you. Well, for myself, um, accepting it, being Wish Society member is an absolute honor to be chosen out of 11 ladies, with 11 ladies in South Carolina Mm -hmm. to um, inspire, strengthen and hope and give hope to this community is such an honor. Um, I am alongside such amazing, uplifting confident, fabulous women. And um, it's all about getting out there and giving back to such a wonderful organization for me and our family to give back for um, the love they gave us and the fun. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, Shannon, wish- oh, yeah, yeah, go, Shannon ahead. go ahead. I was, you jump right in, Shannon. Yeah. yeah. So Wish Society, it is women inspiring strength and hope. Mm-hmm. And it is a group of women who agree to raise at least $7,500 in, mm-hmm. in the campaign period, which for us is January through April 30th. Um, where we have 11 women across different types of occupations. We have our wish mom, we have educators, we have business women. Mm-hmm. It's, and, and they form relationships themselves, which then 
gives them a really wide networking group mm -hmm. um, to, and, and I will say this group of women, they're not just colleagues, they have become <laughs> friends. Right. And it's really fun to watch. Um, I've not seen such an amazing group of women who are so busy with everything they do in, in their life, whether it's with their families or their church or their business. Um, they're making time to do this and they're supporting each other. Uh, and it's, it's just, it's beautiful to watch. And they are, uh, we, we have until April 30th and they are at 64% of goal as of this morning. So we're really, really going to be granting quite a few wishes with what they raise. That's wonderful that you're so close. And of course, the $7,500 number grants one wish for a child in South Carolina. You know, how, how can we help you? Do you have a, a specific donation link or, uh, you know, Shannon, I, any of the women? Like, how can we help? <laughs> There's, I mean, very good question. Um, I say to friends and family, anyone that want to donate, any dollar makes a difference. If someone could give $10, some families have given thousands of dollars. Uh, it's just getting the word out there and knowing that every dollar counts and every dollar is going to help grant a wish for a child and a family in need of some fun and a time to breathe and quality of life. Um, I do have, you know, a little uh, QR code website for Charlie um, with a story about Charlie and his, his past wish. And that money goes to raising funds for the wish society that, which then goes to, you know, to make a wish. Um, and I've had kids do little lemonade stands and give me $15. Oh. And I've had my friends come in at the end and be like, here's, you know, here's a good chunk of change. But yeah. we need to get the word out there um, because I don't think a lot of people realize what it takes to get a wish done correctly. Mm -hmm. Charlie's wish in Massachusetts was a lot more than $7,500. Mm -hmm. That's a wish I say in my head is an average, obviously average. I mean, maybe that's getting a puppy, but some kids want to go to Disney. Some kids want to take a plane and go to Florida Keys and go fishing and paint with manatees. Everything adds up and you want to give this child and their family the best of the best. Mm -hmm. And that's why donations are so important, getting the word out there that every dollar counts. Right. And that's so important yeah. because mm -hmm. as you said, Mm -hmm. Whatever you can get, if it's you know a dollar from a mm -hmm. lemonade stand, it mm -hmm. still makes a difference. Everything yeah. makes a difference. Everything makes. And a I difference. just, and I always say like to people too, like imagine if your child was a future wish kid, right? And you wanted to give them the world, and they wanted some type of you know, I don't know, a wheelchair that is an all terrain wheelchair. Those don't cost mm -hmm. seven thousand five hundred. You want you know just giving what your child is asking for and needing, and giving them some hope mm -hmm. and some spirit and some like oomph to get through the next procedure or like knowing they get to leave the hospital walls and go have some fun or something to look forward to. So it's so important. Right. It's so important. And Shannon, I mm -hmm. know, you know, on wish night, we were talking about those statistics and you obviously mm -hmm. know them better than I do, but you know, after kit, it's a time for the family, right? So it really is feel, you know, that th they're all together as a unit, everyone feels better, but it gives mm -hmm. them hope. And Shannon, aren't there sp statistics that speak to the fact mm -hmm. that they feel like their kids have a better chance of healing after they have their wish? We know that um, nine out of 10 doctors now mm -hmm. know that a wish really does help provide that healing process. Mm -hmm. um, it gives them a break. And that break is what they need to realize that there's still life out there and mm -hmm. they can fight for it and they can mm -hmm. make it happen. And um, Wish Night shared stories like Pebbles, who never mm -hmm. thought she would go outside of Myrtle Beach to go to college. And now she's been accepted to Ole Miss and is mm -hmm. looking at colleges all across the country. Um, that's hope. That That's what happens when you have mm -hmm. hope. And that's, that's what we're all about. Uh, we yeah. have, um, it's about... I think when we look at our alumni surveys, uh, it's it's ninety percent of the families, ninety percent of our doctors. Um, we have a doctor at Sean Jenkins who says one of the first questions he asks now to his um, cardiac kiddos, "Have you had your wish yet?" Because if they haven't, he wants to make a referral, and we mm -hmm. and that's what we're all about. That's what we want to get the word out about. Is this is a referral process? Um, Yes, there are guidelines, but if the child qualifies, then they're going to get their wish. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah, and I, I think too for me, having Charlie was a very. We lived in the hospital for nine years, and I always myself thought Make a Wish was for children that are going to pass away. Mm -hmm. It is not. Everyone mm -hmm. passes away at some point in life. It is for children to go out there and have the time of their lives to step out of the hospital and be a kid. Mm -hmm. It's all about 
forgetting the medicine, you know, putting it behind you in that gray area and letting, you know, have a quality of life and fun and removing yourself from one day or one week from the hospital and just living life to the fullest. And for us, it was making memories. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's all about the break, as Shannon said. Mm -hmm. You know, I know Mm -hmm. we saw be a zookeeper. I want to be a Marine. Mm -hmm. Um, What else have you seen, Shannon? Some of your favorite (laughs) wishes over the years. I know I hate to say favorite, but some that stick out. And it's not just you. So last night I was, I was able to spend some time with the little girl who was the first wish that I granted. And her wish was to have a hot pink golf cart. (laughs) (laughs) Um, And let me tell you the golf carts that these kids get, they are, they are, they are, they're more than just golf carts. They have these amazing sound systems. Some of them are six seaters. Hers was set up because she has to lay down. Um, so hers was set up to allow her to lay down and they use it when they go camping because they want to go all around the campground. Well, mm-hmm. she couldn't, um, she had to stay at the site because, you know, the roads are bumpy. It's not great mm-hmm. for the wheelchair. Now she just zips all over the campground, making new friends and gets to watch the fireworks in a better location. Mm-hmm. It's, it has been a life changing wish for her and mm-hmm. she's the, she's got the best attitude. Um, yeah. I, she she's a cheerleader she does yeah she's a cheerleader yeah. she sings taylor swift songs and <laughs> she goes about life yeah you know i but, bet that in granting these wishes obviously it's mm-hmm. for the kiddos but the adults and the people that are granting the wishes mm-hmm. you learn it's so fun from them yeah right? and i i recently granted a wish um a couple of weeks ago for a family here in charleston and the son wanted to go to florida he wanted to see the sea turtles. He wanted to fish. He wanted to, you know, and the whole family got to go to Florida. And I texted with the mom when they got back. How are you? Goes, We've never had so much fun in our lives. We got to get away. And I, she's like, I know I can take on the world again. You mm-hmm. know, so it's like a time to breathe. Mm-hmm. And it's so important to see in both sides, you know, how appreciative the family is and how hard make a wish works to get the, re- the wish, excuse me, just perfect. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, an amazing, amazing organization and more people need to give to it and know about it. Because for me, I was scared of it. And then I was like, oh my goodness, this is the best thing ever. You know, <laughs> and I, now I see someone, I'm like, have you done your wish? Do your wish. But mm-hmm. it's getting the word out there because I think a lot of people think, you know, there's endless money and there's no, there's no mm-hmm. endless money anywhere, <laughs> yeah. you know? And I, if it's up to me, I would want to be able to give every kid their first wish that they wanted to make their lives, you know, better. You, you don't want to have yeah. to say no to anything. So exactly. We, Saying no hurts. By donating, as we said, mm-hmm. you can support your mm-hmm. campaign, any donation, any level mm-hmm. makes a difference. Mm-hmm. You know, I'll ask you, Shannon, if there's someone listening to this or watching this who just mm-hmm. wants to help. We've talked about mm-hmm. being the wish granters. Is is there a volunteer opportunity? I know you have to go through training, et cetera. But. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you for asking that because yeah. we couldn't do these wishes without mm-hmm. the over 200 volunteers that we have statewide. And they really are the ones who are down in the trenches working with these kiddos doing their wish discoveries and determining what is going to be the best fit for the child and the family for the witch. Um, we usually ask them for three choices and a lot of those come from, you know, playing games with them and, and really bringing them out of them, their shells. Cause sometimes they're shy about it. Now, other mm-hmm. times the kids answer the door in their full Disney garb and say, <laughs> I want to go to Disney world. Um, other times they really don't know. Um, because if we are to ask anyone, if you could have a wish, what would it be? Most of us are going to have to take time to think about that. Mm -hmm. And and these kiddos do too. Um, but our volunteers do anything from wish discovery, which is meeting with the family and the child and, and discovering what the wish will be to being what we call wish pals. And they are folks who maybe they don't have time to meet with the kids, but they have time to sit down and write a note or when they're at the Mm -hmm. store, grab the kid's favorite candy and mail it to them and say, Mm -hmm. you know, I know you're waiting for your wish. It's coming soon. Um, And then we have wish granting and those can be a variety of different ways. It could be just going over and bringing a pizza to the family and and with all of the information they need for their wish to happen. Mm -hmm. It could be delivering the wish if it's Mm -hmm. um, a game set, you know, Mm -hmm. if they want a full PlayStation set, then we, do everything they want and we maybe go to cruise Subaru and put it in the back of a Subaru and surprise them with everything they ever wished for, for their game, their game set. Mm -hmm. Um, could be a golf cart. 
it could be <laughs> being a zookeeper and finding out you're going to the zoo. Um, yeah, I mean, could, you know, it's it's all fabulous. For me, I've done every every volunteer position, and plus I'm a wish, former wish mom. So I've got to yeah. see how much work and time and detail goes into what the volunteers do and then what goes on behind the scenes with the Make-A-Wish employees. It's unreal. I mean, I got to, the other week, hand a mother and father a folder of all their itinerary from their flight to their every part of their travel, scheduled travel. Here's some your uh, a credit card for gas and food. Um, here's your hotel. They had no idea where they're staying. And here you go. And they said, this is the best thing ever. You took all the hassle, mm-hmm. the planning out of it. All these all this family had to do is pack their clothes and their medicine wow. and get to the airport on time. You know, I mean, do you imagine as a parent not having to like right. do all that and That's add it all wonderful. up? And, yeah. and thank you know, as Shannon was saying, what two hundred volunteers? Did I get that number correct? Mm-hmm. Statewide. Yep. Do you do you yeah. need more volunteers right now? Always. Or is there a week? Always. Okay. Yes. And our website is wish.org org mm-hmm. slash sc. Mm-hmm. So okay. You can mm-hmm. go on there and can look at our events. You can mm-hmm. look at ways to volunteer and get involved. Um, if you go to our events mm-hmm. and go to Wish Society, you'll see Low Country. That's mm-hmm. where we want to go and donate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we are in a competition with our upstate ladies. <laughs> well, we have to yeah. win. We have, we have to win. win. No we do not lose. Party. We do not I'll lose. The more money, we do not lose. And I can send you to the uh, Charlie's little QR code with a link and story about him too. Please um, do. We don't have people it. to that's donate. That, or I was going to say watching this as a video cast. Yeah, that'd yeah. be wonderful because it all goes to the same pot. So it's, yeah. it's all yep. goes to the same pot, which is amazing. Yeah. And um, it's, this is just... I don't know if I go more into it, but um, we lost Charlie two weeks after, excuse me, his Make-A-Wish. So, <laughs> I had to save time. Um, having this Make-A-Wish and these memories is the absolute means of world to us. I mean, we had endless fun. He got to be with his friends and family from all over the country two weeks before he passed. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, look what they did. You know, <laughs> excuse me. And Make-A-Wish did it so well. Mm-hmm. Blew our minds. Our minds. So that's why it's so important that people give what they can. Shannon, it's so important. Thank you for sharing. Or I mean, yeah. heart, thank, you for, <laughs> thank you for sharing so much. I'm so sorry to hear that, but you know, kudos to you for helping yeah. other parents and other kids. Heart, you have another really special piece to your story, and that's how you ended up in Charleston and what Charleston oh, has, yeah. your community has so done. Our, oh well, Charlie. Charlie's obviously our, our firstborn. Charlie, he passed and. Uh, 2021. Um, his name was Charlie. And so I said oh, one night online, like, let's move to Char- Charleston, Charlie Charleston. Perfect. Mm-hmm. So we dro- picked up, sold our house like that. And we moved to uh, Charleston to the Daniel Island community, which is the best thing we could have ever done for our family. And we are surrounded by the most amazing community full of love and fun and kids on bikes and having, you know, outdoor play dates every day and cookouts. And it just, Quality of life here in the South is amazing. And we're so lucky to be surrounded in such an amazing community. Daniel Island on top of it has just blown our minds away. Um, last June, we did a um, flock your yard with pink flamingos and one blue flamingo for Make-A-Wish. And the Dan- kids all around Daniel Island, I'd say at age like four to eight, got together for five nights in golf carts and we go house to house for people that donated, you know, funds towards make a wish Mm -hmm. in memory of Charlie. And we'd flock their yard. It was crazy. It was well organized. It was, it was a lot of fun, but these kids got to realize and learn that Mm -hmm. look how lucky you are. You're outside with your best friends in golf carts and bikes, Mm -hmm. helping other kids. And these kiddos raised a little over, I want to say $40,000. Oh my gosh. It went directly in memory of Charlie. It went to make a wish. Um, And some of the kids that were able to go, got to go see their wish granted. So they got to go downtown to MUSC Children's and see a, a, a wish kid get sent off to Disney. So mm-hmm. they got to see what their hard work did. So we're going to do it again this year in June, you know, get those kids out there and raise some funds for, you know, wish kids, future right. wish kids. You're really important to teach you. Charlie's yeah. memory alive and you're, you it's know, teaching 100%. The, next, the, the next generation to say level to give. of volunteers. Exactly. Those kids will grow up yeah. and replace us, replace mm-hmm. you as a volunteer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're trying to raise good humans, teaching them to give back and like, look how lucky you are, mm-hmm. you know? So, and it's fun. <laughs> yeah. Ladies, yeah, I thank so you just, so much for your time today. I want to make thank sure you. everything, just go to the website, mm-hmm. correct Shannon. That's where you can mm-hmm. make it. 
all the donations. If you're interested in volunteering, you can you know do that there as well. Seventy five hundred dollars. If you'd like to donate that, that would fund That'd one. Be great. <laughs> so just we'll click that it. button, add to cart, donate. <laughs> and if it's five dollars, that's equally take it as generous. You know, it all adds up for sure. Anything that I forgot to ask that you'd like to add before we go? No, I just the last thing I really wanted to say is that we really are for critically ill children. It's so important mm-hmm. people understand that where we started in 1980 was with a terminally ill child who wished to be a police officer. Um, the organization has grown. We started here in South Carolina in Charleston, um, actually um, in November of 19. 19- 84. So we're having our 40th anniversary coming up here real quick. Um, But it started here in Charleston in 1984. And from that, we have grown into an organization who's granted over 4,000 wishes um, for critically ill children. And um, we want to keep doing that and granting as many as we can. We're on target right now to grant 236 wishes this year. That's great. Let's make it 300. Let's make it 300. <laughs> Shoot for the stars. Right. <laughs> Always. Ladies, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Thank you for all you do. This has been the Charleston Women Podcast. Thanks for spending time with Charleston Women Podcast. Please like us and follow us on whatever platform you're using to access Charleston Women Podcast.